Hey guys, welcome back in the Cool IT Help and today we are going to see the implementation of the splash screen in the Java FX. So guys, here I have created a simple example and I will demonstrate you how we can implement the splash screen, a preloader screen in the Java FX application. So guys, this is a little bit lengthy video so I have divided this video into two parts. So in the first part, we will see the basic idea, the implementation behind the scene. And, and then the second part we will do some coding stuff and we will see the practical implementation so guys let me show you first what I have created here in the NetBeans IDE so I'm going to launch the application here so go to this file and going to run this Okay guys, you can see this is a splash screen. This is the preloader is it, it is running. And as you can see here, this progress is running. And it's it is reaching to the 100% and then the main application will launch. Okay, you can see here. This is the main application stage is launched and the preloader screen is closed. Okay guys, so we will do the same thing I will demonstrate you by creating a simple example, simple project in the NetBeans IDE and we will see step by step. Okay guys, let's get started with the part 1 of this video tutorials. So now we will understand the basic idea behind the implementation of this splash screen. Now you can see here, I have created this image for explaining the concept behind this. So on the left hand side you can see this is the my application class that extend application. You will get this class default once you create a simple project FXML based project in your NetBeans IDE. So you have this constructor my application and you will have this initialize method and you have a start method. Okay guys that's simple. But now you have to create a new class. Okay, so I have given the name my preloader that extends preloader class. So you have to create a class that will extend preloader class. So why we are extending this? Because we need these two methods. You can see the first method is public void handle application notification and here we are passing the preloader notification object as a parameter. So this method is responsible for getting notified every time, okay? Once we send any notification from this my application class. So you can see that, so you can say that this method is just like a listener. Every time you will send any notification from this main application class and that will be received by here in this method so we will continuously updating the progress on the GUI in the progress bar or by setting the value by changing the value on the label so in my example I have used the label and I will I was keep updating the progress with the help of label okay guys now come here on the second method second method is just like same but that gives you the facility you will get notified if any state change happen in this my application class okay so you will be notified here in this method once if any state change happens in my application that means you will be notified if this initialize method is called okay if this initialize method is finished and before starting this start method and after finishing this start method so you will have the options you can decide at what time you have to close the preloader screen so these two methods are useful in this way okay guys if you are not much clear on this so we will do some coding stuff in the part 2 of this video tutorial so guys please watch that video for the complete understanding and let me show you one more thing that will clear your concept so come here on this image you can see here this is the splash screen example that I have created 
and you can see that this label is showing the progress okay and this label is keep updating from here so now look at here in the first rectangle box we have created the sample code and uh, we are calling this method launcher implement launcher impl dot notify preloader so we are using this method for notifying the preloader that means we are sending some kind of message and we are sending the progress percentage that will be displayed here on the preloader screen okay so once you call this method okay so this notification is coming here in the handle application notification method okay and this method will be invoked so the handle application notification method is defined here in the my preloader.java class okay you can say these methods are behaving like a listener so we have to use these two methods that's why we have extended the preloader class okay now come on the second part of the video tutorial so we will see the coding and stuff and we will do some practical implementation of the splash screen okay i will show you step by step so guys go to the second video and watch there